Hi guys, we're back with more of The Terrible Two Get Worse by Jory John and Mac Barnett, illustrated by Kevin Cornell. We're on chapter nine. Chapter nine. Bertram Barkin was the kind of man who wore a belt and suspenders. Usually this was just a saying, but in Bertram Barkin's case, it was actually true. He wore a belt and he wore suspenders on the same day at the same time. Of course, he was also the kind of person the saying refers to, a puritanical twit, an overstarched prig, a prude, a killjoy, a fuddy-duddy, a skunk. This particular skunk was having a great morning. It felt good to put on the old belt and suspenders, drive to the school, and pull into the principal's parking space. It felt even better to be in the old office. He hung up his coat on the old rack and sat behind the old desk in the old chair. Bertrand frowned. The old chair was at a new height. That needed to be fixed. The chair sighed as Bertrand lowered it three and a half inches. Perfect. Bertrand nodded. The place still smelled the same. Wet wool and burnt coffee. There was a faint whiff of bergamot. Barry had always had a weakness for Earl Grey tea, but Bertrand could clear that up by brewing up, up a pot of the old Bertrand blend. He removed a zippered bag of coffee grounds from his, pur from his briefcase and poured some into the machine. The switch glowed orange and the stuff started to drip. Bertrand Barkin rinsed out a mug, world's greatest principal. Well, that was finally true again. All right, it was time to make this official. He reached over the desk and removed the brass nameplate that said Principal Barkin, replacing it with a brass nameplate that said Principal Barkin. Barkin back, he said to himself. Specifically Bertrand Barkin, he said. Bertrand allowed himself 30 seconds of leisure, during which he surveyed the portraits of Barkins that lined the walls. Thaddeus, Roger, himself, and Barry. All the principal, all the principal Barkins, except one, a lenient principal, who'd brought shame upon the Barkin name and whose portrait Bertrand had ordered removed. That principal's name was Jimmy, although Bertrand had called him father, although Jimmy had wanted to be called dad. Bertrand wondered, should there be two portraits of himself on the wall since he had now been principal twice? Or should he take down Barry's portrait, erasing that little blip, the blank spot in Bertrand's period of power? Power. That reminded him. Bertrand pulled out a manual typewriter, which he'd lugged with him this morning. Feeding a piece of yellowed paper into the platen, 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 he'd brought the paper from home too. Bertrand felt the old spirit wax. Sorry about that. Scooby saw a bird. Anywho, we are back. Feeding a piece of yellowed paper into the platen, he brought the paper from home too. Bertrand felt the old spirit waxing within him. He had a hunch these kids had never heard a real power speech before. Well, he would remedy that. He would soon remedy that. Things were going to change around here, and it was important to start things off on just the right note. 